let's take a look at solutions to variable inequalities. Is x equals 9 a solution to the inequality? And our inequality says x is less than 10. Well, one way you can check and see if a, solu if a number is a solution is you can substitute, right? If they're telling us x is equal to 9, that means I can substitute or put 9 in place of x in my inequality statement. So I would say 9 is less than 10. And then after you substitute, what you want to do is look at your statement and see, is it true or false? Okay, because if you have a true statement when you substitute this number in, then it means that your number is a solution to the inequality. If you get a false statement where you go, no, that's not true, then the solution, then that number is not a solution to the inequality. So here, 9 is less than 10. Okay, well that's a true statement, right? 9 is smaller or less than 10. So that means that yes, 9 is a solution to this inequality. Is 7 a solution to the inequality? Okay, well let's substitute or put 7 in for x. If we substitute 7, we would say 7 is less than 2. Okay, well, is that true? Is 7 smaller or less than 2? No, right? That's false. So no, this is not a possible solution to our inequality. Is x equals 2 a solution to the inequality? All right, well, first we're going to substitute or put 2 in place of x. So this would say 2 is less than 9. Okay, is that true? Is 2 less than 9? Yes, right? That's a true statement. 2 is smaller than or less than 9. So yes, x equals 2 must be a solution to our inequality. Is x equals 10 a solution to the inequality? Okay, well, let's substitute. So 7 is greater than, if I put 10 in place of x, that would be 10. Well, is that true? Is 7 greater than 10? No. That's false. 7 is smaller than 10 or less than 10. So 10 is not a solution to the inequality. Is x equals 8 a solution to the inequality? Okay, well let's substitute and put 8 in place of x. 8 is less than or equal to 2. Well, is that true? Is 8 less than or equal to 2? No, it's greater or bigger than 2. So that gives us another false statement. So no, 8 is not a solution to this inequality. Is x equals 10 a solution to the inequality? Okay, well if I sub 10 in for x, this would say 10 is greater than 10. Okay, well is that true? No, if it had said greater than or equal to 10, then it would be true. But 10 is not bigger than 10, it's exactly equal to 10. So this is false, and 10 is not a possible solution.